Hey guys, what's up? It's AB Trades here, and we're gonna redo this video. I'm sorry for the 50 people who have already watched this YouTube video, uh, but apparently the sound qual quality was bad, and I realized why. So I want to make sure that I improve this time. If you've never been to this channel, I am AB Trades, and I teach people how to day trade options. I do daily watch list videos. I do tutorial videos, strategy videos, and everything that you want to watch out for when day trading options. All right, guys. Today is how to make pre-market notes. The notes that you will see come from the premium group chat, which is the second link below. Uh, but I also always post the spy notes as well as the news notes every morning in the free chat. If you want to join that free chat, click the first link below. All right, guys. So we're going to go over the notes for today. So looking here, start, starting out, it said Fed Chair Powell testifying at 9 should give some more volatility until 9.30. So if we look here at the chart, 9 starts around right here. We get this vol this volatility, this huge move until around 9.30. That's from the notes. You can find the news there from forexfactory.com um, under the calendar section and under USD news because we are US dollar and not Canada or J uh, Britain or whatever others that are there. Um, so we got the news from there. Now let's take a look at what we actually said about SPY. So I said, support at 278, 275, blah, 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 looking for gap fill pre-market, followed by a quick spike up because of short sellers ex exiting above 29, then fall back down through 279 and make its way lower to 278. So basically, we're, we're looking for short sellers to push it above 279, and all the way back down, we're looking for it to drop below 279, short entry down to 278. We'll go long above 279.25, 279.50. So let's look at SPY here. So why did we come up with those notes? Well, because look, we got rejected here at 20 uh, at at 280.30. Then we had this fall back down. We had this gap here. We see that the top of this gap here is, is at the whole number level of $29. So that's what we're watching out for. Around 29.25 is where these previous lows were, and we were seeing some consolidation here. So we know that we're going to go long there up to up to 280.30. So looking here, we got that spike above in the morning above 279, which we, we which we were looking at. We were gonna get long above 29.25. It never got above 25. It got us to 29.23. We got this reversal. We said that we were looking forward to drop back below 29, which is happenstance that the EMA was also there. So we had this double support here of the EMA in 279. We dropped below it like we were expecting, and we got that flush down to 278 like we wanted. Then we had the RSI di divergence back up, and then we got above 270.25, and that was a long entry. But again, we're just focusing on the first port, uh, the first um, hour to two of the day. So looking at the rest of the notes here, SBX is the same thing as SPY, so it's just different levels. IWM, the same thing as SPY, so don't expect those levels. The next one, A and D, support zone, watch for a break to the downside or upside. So if we're looking here at AMD, we want to make sure that we're looking at that. AMD here, I just want to show you why, so that you understand how to make your own pre-market notes. So if you can see here, we from, from the past on the 15 minute chart, if you look past the past few days, we have a high here at around 2440. We also have a low here of around 2386, 2380. So we know this is our support and this is our zone. So this is a support zone. As you can see, when, when we got above it, we built some support and we came up and then we came down and now we saw pre-market that we were in this support zone. So we're watching for either a breakup or a breakdown. We actually got the breakdown on it, and if we look down at the one minute, it was a nice flush through in the morning. You can see here we got below this level, we built some support, and then we fell through on AMD. Good trade to watch out for. Next, Facebook found some support at 162 with a triple top at 166, short at 166, 65, 64, depending on the when it starts reversing long above 166. So let's look at Facebook here. So if you can see here, we had this downtrend, right? Like Facebook, we found some support. We were bouncing. We were looking to fill this gap here. We can see that the gap starts in, uh, in play at around 164. So you're looking for Facebook here to get up to 164, and we're going to short that, that region. 164, or waiting until it started to reverse. It got a few cents from 164, and then it started to reverse, and then we saw that flush back down, uh, down to 160.40, which is the next low that we were tar targeting. We were a few cents off on the entry, a few cents off on the low, but hey, good play anyways. 
um, and I hope you understand this is because it's a gap fill, right? We have this downtrend that we're coming into. We have this gap fill. We're looking to fill the gap. If it fills the gap, we go long. If it fills the gap and drops, then we go short. Uh, last one to cover is Tesla. So looking here at Tesla, um, finally above 300, finding a base above it, possible bounce on this level and continuation higher. So knowing on a daily perspective that 300 is a super strong level as a whole number and for past previous price history, we were getting above pre-market, we were building a base, we were looking for it because when you have a, a resistance, you come above and you, you more times than not come back to, to, to retest this level as a support. So if you can see here, we came back down, we retested this level as support, and then we took off the rest of the day on Tesla. So guys, that was the play. I hope it makes sense. Understanding levels, 15 minute charts, and everything you need to do to make your own pre-market notes and pin it down perfectly. So we pinned down SPY and a few other stocks almost perfectly today. Again, you never do it almost per perfectly every day, but a part of your trading ritual should be making notes every single morning. Thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.